Hello everyone. In this lesson, let's learn information screening and classification. First, let's understand knowledge of network information. By what means? To collect network information. For the collected network information, how to evaluate whether it is suitable for the company's website and column needs. Classify and sort according to column. Our learning objective for this lesson to understand the website information and website information resources students need to master. Depending on site type and positioning, choose the right website information. And for certain columns, ability to collect and analyze. Let's learn about the collection of network information. Please follow me to a case study. Xiao Wang is an editor of the portal website of a consulting company. Responsible for website-related columns, content update and maintenance. Their main job at present, collect information from other websites. After processing, upload to the corresponding portal for your work. Due to the construction and management of website content, not only to match the positioning of the website and match the preferences of our users. So in the whole process of collecting network information, Information needs to be collected to determine the topic. After collection, classify and organize information. We are in the process of organizing information on the website. Website by providing content. Reflect the positioning of the entire website. Different website positioning is different. The content of the website information provided and the service is different. Let's take a look. What are the positioning of information websites? In the location of the website, its content is mainly to provide internet information. What is the audience? It's some of our webmaster groups. The main column has information operation, entrepreneurial resources, interview e-commerce, mobile internet marketing and forums. The main function is registration and login, publishing, purchasing, interacting, etc. Preferences of information portal users. According to our audience is wanted website. Able to provide a variety of information related to the internet. Technical service resources download and so on. So gather information on the entire website. For information portals. It's the ease of finding content. To a large extent. It is reflected in the classification of channels and columns. What are the ways to collect website information? When retrieving and collecting network information, we can find some professional websites. You can search through a search engine or through some forums, blogs, tweets, etc. You can also go through some official professional data to collect information. Please take a look with me. Search engine. This search engine it means according to a certain strategy. Use specific computer programs to collect information on the internet. After organizing and processing the information, a system for providing retrieval services to customers. Our network information collection resources, according to the form of information to divide. There are text pictures illustrated, animated live video and more on the attributes of our network information content to divide. Can also be divided into news section, academic section, entertainment section, education section, science and technology, business, sports, financial and legal information. We are in the process of sorting out the network information in accordance with the name know the meaning file naming principle to name the material. Try to use the folder. Keep the file type single. In the process of information screening on our website, we need to. A lot of information is filtered and processed in order to eliminate some unwanted information. First, we need to analyze the source of the information. Judge the value of the information. In the process, we need to be right about information, authenticity, authority, and timeliness, judged by practicality and fun. Finally, the network information is filtered. In the process of screening, we generally break it down into three steps. The first is a preliminary screening process. In the process, 
We sift out roughly the information of the network, and then select. Finally, it is summarized and sorted out. Let's analyze the source of information on the internet. The first is the site's own collection of information. Because from the topic to the content, it's all self-collected. Processing is also controlled by its own website. Its quality is easily guaranteed. The second is the information that the protocol republishes. There is a lot of information at this time. We need to find the source of the information to judge the quality of the information. Finally, there are some spontaneous contributions from netizens. This kind of submission can be approved. The way microblogging blogs email, it's up to us to determine whether it's true. The next step is to determine the value of online information. The authenticity of network information refers to the things that are involved in the information, whether it exists objectively, all elements of information at the same time. Is it true? For elements of information, we have time, two, places, people, reasons, processes, etc. So for the accuracy of the information. Quotes for background information on our event. Examine the details of the information. The accuracy of written and verbal expression. Finally, we need to look at the source of this information. Don't use it lightly. Some information of unknown origin. Next, we have to judge the timeliness of the value of network information. This timeliness refers to how old and new the information is. How close it is to the real technological frontiers of society. What is it like? Finally, we have to judge its authority and practicality. And fun. So let's see. Classification of network information. Information categorization refers to the attributes of the content of a website. Audience and other characteristics. Classify the web manuscript. Categorize into established channels and columns. This kind of network information classification function is to remind us the content of various types of information on the website so that internet users can browse and find easy to edit management and work. Information on the website. In the classification process, there's something called a site map. This site map is really just a page. It contains links to all the pages on the site. Most people are on the website when you can't find the information you need. You can map the site as a remedial measure. So let's summarize what we've learned in this lecture. We target information portals and column positioning. Collect information about user preferences, etc. The collected information is screened and classified in order to prepare for the content editing of the website. Class, that's all for this lesson. Thank you all.